I don't think you guys realize how lucky you actually are. From my experience, the best thing that ever happened to me was getting eczema and dermatitis. And I know that might sound crazy, but what it led me to do is to find out who I really was and to gain control over all aspects of my life. In order to reverse disease, you have to be in control. You have to learn to eat healthy. You have to learn to detox and cleanse. You have to learn to be consistent with all of those things. And when you put your energy into something like that, it empowers you deeply. I urge you guys out there to tap into the hidden meaning behind getting these skin diseases, empower yourself, learn these skills, get healthy, clear skin, and free yourself and open up to a new life, a life that you've always, always wanted. You deserve it. I believe in you. You can do it. What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, it's going to be straight to the point. And what I'm going to talk about is how often should you be doing salt flushes on your cleansing, detoxing, healing journey? Stay tuned. The answer is not straightforward. Every person is different. I think the magic number per week is to do three salt flushes total. Any more than that seems like it's too much. Any less than that um, can actually be effective. So it doesn't matter um, if you're going to just do one per week or two per month. That's fine. You'll get some good benefit from it. It's really great for detoxing the heavy metals. Like I've said in other videos, the salt flush is so awesome for gently brushing and cleansing out that mucus mucoid plaque and also refreshing and cleansing the small and large intestine. And it helps the colon out as well. Here's the thing. Most people have a crazy amount of backed up poop, mucoid, mucus plaque in their body. Up to 30 pounds in my opinion. So when you start this cleansing process, most of the weight that you're going to lose and most of the stuff that's coming out of you is going to be, yes, food that you've been eating uh, that day or the day before, but also a lot of people have like somewhere between two and five, maybe even more backed up, nasty, putrefying meals in their system. Salt flushes help release the demons. They help move that old stuff out of your body through the pathways of elimination, mainly being your poop, um, and they do a great job of it. Here's the thing, in my experience, in my opinion, with both clients and myself, is that too many salt flushes just kind of dilutes the system, just not needed. Like I said, one per week I think is plenty. I wouldn't go more than three per week if you're being really aggressive with your cleansing, especially if you're doing things like water fasting, intermittent fasting, juice cleansing, mono mills, and coffee enemas on other days, you don't want to overdo it. Now, there's going to be a balance and there's going to be an experiment, uh, experimentation phase for each one of you. And I suggest that you be your own guru, you be your own mentor, um, and just play with it. For me personally, I never did more than three per week. And on most of my deep cleansing months, I only did one per week. I focused more on coffee enemas because they made me feel better. They really cleaned out my liver and kidney in a, a obviously noticeable way. But that's not to say that salt flushes don't have their place and aren't really powerful. I'm just saying don't overdo the salt flushes. Um, take your time with them. Listen to your body. Make sure that you're also doing some really nourishing, calorically dense, nutrient dense foods that are easy to digest after the process of salt flushing and listen to your body. Here's a caveat for this video. A lot of people will do a salt flush and they'll either feel really crappy or it just won't work. There's a couple things that you can do if this is what's happening. One, you can simply say, okay, that was just a really hard and heavy detoxing symptom, which happens all the time because of the, it, it gets a lot of heavy metals and toxins out of your body basically and that can just make you feel like crap. 
So you can either just repeat the process and see how it goes, or here's some adjustments. Let's say that you do a, do a salt flush and you don't feel that great, and then you do another one and you still feel really crappy. Um, or they just don't work, meaning you don't have that poop, that big release. Simply change up your salt, you know, go from Himalayan sea salt to maybe some Celtic sea salt. Change up the temperature of your water. Maybe you had the first one was cold. Try room temperature, try warm, try hot. Now, here's the thing is with hot, you want to be really careful because if you labor in getting the salt flush down, meaning it takes you a long time, it's not going to have the effects that it would if you get it down. You want to get that salt flush, gulp it down. You don't have to pound it down as fast as you can, but don't take 20 minutes to drink it down. I've had some clients, especially when I had my cleansing center in Mount Shasta, who would sit and they would labor over the salt flush for 30, 40 minutes. It would be disgusting, and then it just ruined the process. Take it like a shot. Just boop, 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 boop. If it takes two or three of those, that's fine. What I'm saying, what I'm rambling about is get the salt flush down. Um, do up to three per week at most, in my opinion, and see how things feel. Make the adjustments that you need. Remember to do other cleansing protocols along with it, mono mills, juice cleanses, water fasting, intermittent fasting, coffee enemas, to reach your highest potential in deep cleansing. That's gonna be it for today, guys. So remember, up to three per week at most is what I feel is best. Leave all of your comments and questions down below. If you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and share, like, hit that notification button. And if you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client of mine and have me guide you through this process of healing the skin, I'd love to help you. There's a link in the description box. Go ahead and click on it and we can connect. Also, check out my Instagram, people. It's pretty awesome. Stuart Rob Stewart is my handle. Like, share, follow, interact. Much love. I'm out.